By the way, I would like to correct my dear pink brother. I am the lo longest serving right now, but I am not the eldest yet. I'm 39, I'm sticking to that story. Does someone have a house we can drop on I throw? Yes, but I want to I would like to thank all of the gentlemen here who uh, who took their shirts off, much to some of their chagrins. And if you haven't noticed, Sister Ursula Polari of the Sisters of the Flaming Sugar Bakers is even shirtless. My little brother is very pleased. <laughs> Please pardon me if I get a little, shirt, a little shaken up, but I've been practicing this for three days. Sixteen days ago, Nitro called me and told me the news that ripped a huge hole in my heart. I'm still in shock and hope against hope that someone will grab me by the shoulders, shake me awake, and tell me I've been having a terrible dream. Many people called Alan, Sir Alan. Most others just called him Alan. I had a privilege no one else had. I got to call him little brother. When Alan and Nitro pledged for the Panthers in November of 2008, I was chosen to be Alan's big brother. I was very happy to have this responsibility as, while he would learn from me about the club, I wanted to learn from him, particularly about structured relationships. We hit it off beautifully. Heck, our pledge meeting at Rocks on a Friday night lasted three hours. True story. And our friendship developed into one of the most precious and beloved I've ever had or could ever hope to have. I found that beneath that tough, butch, marble wall exterior was a wonderful man with a heart of gold. While Nitro was his sub, he loved Nitro very, very much, and it showed. This great love was self-evident again when Scott and David later joined the family. After Alan competed at four and won Mr. Atlanta Eagle 2009, then announced he would go to Chicago to compete for the Big Daddy International Mr. Leather. I decided I would go to Chicago to surprise him and I enlisted Nitro's help. As I was checking in at the hotel on Saturday morning, Nitro met me and took me up to their room, telling me to stay out of sight while he went in. I then overheard him telling Alan that a man had met him in the lobby insisting that he had to meet this awesome Mr. Atlanta Eagle and followed Nitro up to their room. <laughs> Alan clearly sounded ticked off that he had to because he had so much to do to get ready for that day's contested activities. And I'm standing in the hall biting my tongue from laughter. Finally, Nitro got him into his IML medal, his vest, and jeans, and Alan opened the door to see his big brother standing there. And the tears welled up in his eyes. That alone made the weekend worth it for him. A couple of years later, the Panthers were floundering because of some internal drama. I know that's shocking. And it had become clear that we would not be around much longer if we didn't do something. Alan took on the Herculean task of going through every line of the Barbara bylaws and policies and procedures and developing ideas. We all met at their home and discussed these ideas for many hours. We dropped things that no longer worked or were no longer relevant, added new things which would strengthen the club and its foundation, rededicated ourselves to the club's statement of purpose as was written when we were founded in 1988 and began evolving into what Alan called a leather club of the 21st century. I truly believe that what we did then saved us, and we are stronger than we have ever been because of it. And I thank Alan for his vision. In the seven years that Alan has been a big part of my life, no, an enormous part of my life, I've had innumerable wonderful times with him, a lot of crazy bar nights, pride parades. I mean, you, you've got to smile seeing a man like him shaking it to the music on our floor. 
I am in so much trouble now. <laughs> Finally a lightning rod. <laughs> Dinners at Rocks, the club's annual Christmas dinner and toy exchange, Atlanta leather pride weekends, gatherings around the fire pit at their house, and working side by side with him the last three Halloweens on his part of Nightmare on Ponce as we turned the eagle into a haunted bar. And that will go on. While we disagreed on some things, those disagreements were always calm and respectful and considerate of each other's feelings and opinions. Only once did I ever see him angry at me over something. But when we saw each other just a week later, that disagreement had been completely forgotten. That's the kind of brother he was. We all know that Alan only shook your hand one time when he first met you. From then on, greetings and farewells were accompanied by a big hug. And damn, I'm gonna miss those hugs. Lots of men have told me that they perceived him as bigger than life and that they couldn't approach him. I was assured them that all it took was to stick your hand out, introduce yourself, as he was 100% real. To him, there were no strangers, just friends he hadn't met yet. I pity anyone who, because of their concerns, never met him. Because if I could choose one word to describe him, it would be genuine. Being called Big Brother by him, which he did so often, made me melt. I'm sure I will someday have another little brother or sister in the Panthers, but I won't be able to hear him or her call me Big Brother without tearing up. So, we now all have an, a guardian angel with leather wings. I look forward to the day that I join him in Heaven's Leather Bar for a couple of Big Jack and Cokes and a lot of catching up. Christians believe that God has a plan for all of us. Unfortunately, we're not privy to his plan. I think that he has a lot of pups and boys running around heaven, and he needed someone to care for, discipline, guide, and mentor them. So he called on Alan. Alan responded, well, can I have an eternal supply of Jack Daniels and cigars? <laughs> and God said, okay, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Nitro and David. Many years from now, when you join him, all of those pups and boys he's been taking care of are going to have to step back in line for you. Together, we are infinitely stronger than our tears. Fly like an eagle, little brother. <laughs>